let's have a look at the little explore so youtube channel hey ho let's tow they've got one of these but smaller one the smaller explore which i'll try and find out here maybe it's this one Three Let's have a look. Very bright and um, great for um, small family, two adults and a child. In fact, it's got a bed there, bed there, and maybe a double bed there. Yep, I'd say so. Nice big window at the front. Yeah, this this cupboard arrangement is I quite like. You kind of push that bit there to open it. Wish a TV would go there. Okay, max weight six kilograms. Mm, maybe you could hang it on there. It's, um, small. small fridge. I think I got a bit interrupted there. So then they do the bigger ones of the Explore range. Again, I won't go in and out every caravan because it'd be like a six hour vlog. You watch it all. <laughs> so you get the idea, it's there are similar layouts, a similar interior but just bigger caravans, smaller. Depending on what you want. I think manufacturers, obviously manufacturers have to do this. They have to cater for everybody. So now let's go and have a look at the big boys, the old buccaneer. Or the new buccaneer, should I say. I am fully aware I gravitate towards the higher end of stuff. I can't help myself. <laughs> Bermuda. See this creeping ever nearer to 50,000 now. That's a sneaky way of me just seeing if there's anyone inside. <laughs> Here we go. Buccaneer Bermuda. So this is a thing where caravan's very a personal thing and, and subjective. Um, Mandy didn't like the fact that there's no window there. <clears throat> and I think it's odd and might take a bit of getting used to. In fact, what you could do is mount a CCTV camera on the, on the there and just watch the outside from there, if that's what you want to do, and turn that TV into a window. <laughs> really deep seats, maybe a bit too deep. Yeah, I think if you're, I can't touch the floor. I can, when I'm complaining, the seats are too big, but it's a, it's a consideration. Again, they've changed the style of opening. I mean, I know this is, it's all Eldis in it, but then you could say it's all Heimer. So these are slightly different. Not sure I'm happy with the quality of those, but Let's open every single drawer. Caravan drawer vlogger. A lot of storage space here. Um, strange layout for me because the, this kitchen is on the um, right hand side of the van as you look towards the back. Whereas I think most caravans it's over there. So they're kind of swapped. But you do get the feeling of the space. But also you got so this is the thing with sometimes manufacturers. These are like this, these cupboards, and these cupboards are completely different. They open 
there. I guess, yeah, I guess because they open that way, you can't have those handles. We learn together. But it's very spacious. Again, that skylight that I like. Let's make it slowly round. And Dometic fridge. Microwave. Shower again. Um, gone that way. Is it just me? Or is it? don't certainly go that way. I don't know. My one at home goes that way. But it's much bigger than that. I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm not going to get in there because I'm going to get stuck. Again, a theme with these guys. It's a separate toilet, which I think is all right. Do you not mainly see that in motorhomes? Maybe not. Again, the bed's in day mode. I'm not going to pull it out, but you know, it'll obviously. Again, nice big skylight there. Partition door here. That's nice. I prefer that to the um, consultina door, I have to say. That's your Bermuda. Let's have a quick look in the cruiser. Twin axle, MP leveling, 46. A couple of options on here, wrap around seating. Now this one straight away gives a more of an overall feeling of space because of the transverse bed. And it's huge. Maybe I said on a vlog yesterday, my last vlog, is that this is similar to the Bailey layout that we had the um, Cartagena. We were worried that when we got the layout we have now in the middle bathroom, it would feel claustrophobic, but it didn't. But this does feel, I mean, this does feel really spacious. I mean, ridiculously big, in a good way. I do like the eight foot wide. The, big, the biggest advantage for me is it gives you that really deep work surface there. Automatic fridge over these blocks. If you have one of these um, fridges that opens both ways, do you have trouble with the handles? We have real trouble with them. It just sometimes gets stuck and doesn't shut properly. Uh, style over substance, I think, personally. Fet food cooker. Consultina door. Okay, I suppose it's more practical. Nice lighting down there, rear bathroom. See, square shower, that's better. And obviously when it's in day mode, it's huge, the space. Skylights again, that's nice and big. This is definitely a, you know, feeling of space. He's huge. Good look at the Barracuda. A for wide, four berths. Axle. What do you think about the tinted windows? Tinted windows on your car on a, t a tinted windows on a caravan your thing? Let's have a look at the Barracuda before my battery runs out. Okay, so straight away you see with this with this layout, it doesn't have the appearance of it being quite so big. But you could argue it's cozier. That's my defense, I'm sticking to it. 
wireless charging. No, no, my mistake. I don't. Think, I think it's just a thing for your cable. Interesting that the TV is on the other side to some other caravans. It's not interesting at all. Again, separate toilet and shower. Right, this, okay, good. This isn't in day mode. Now, I have a rucksack on, so I don't think I'll try and get in there. Actually, I will try and just squeeze in, just to make a point. Right, so having owned a transverse bed, which has got day mode and all this thing they sell you, the problem you've got is that when it's in day mode, it's fine, and when it's like that, it's fine. But when you've got a thick duvet on, it does limit the your ability to get round. If you get up in the night for a pee. I mean, you might be happy with it, that's fine. But nice big wardrobes, eight foot wide. One of the, options, one of the good things it gives you is that these wardrobes are a bit wider. Nice. Black switches and that, interesting choice. My advice, don't wear a rucksack to bed, you'd probably be all right. Nice big space there. you think you'd have a telly there, but the telly's actually over there. So, what do you use that for? I know what I'd use it for, and it'd drive Mandy bonkers. He's putting my keys and the iPhone and everything on there. We have a little shelf up there where that all goes in, the, in our caravan. There you go, I think that's probably what I'm going to do on Eldis and Buccaneer. You know, Eldis have, again, like Swift, there's so many models that, Jesus, how are you supposed to cover them all? This is quality caravan vlogging. Yeah.